Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the rotate command in Rhino. And to start things off, I'm going to use the circle command, draw a circle, and we can simply type in rotate and it's going to ask, select which objects you'd like to rotate. We're going to select the circle command. We can hit enter when done. And it's going to ask to select the center of rotation. That's basically just um, telling Rhino which point you want to rotate this on. Um, it could be on the curve or the line, and it could be offset. It doesn't matter. Um, and when you left click and to initiate the command, the second thing that comes up is specify the angle or the reference point. Um, so we can specify the reference point. Let's say if we wanted to um, rotate on the center point here, but we want to make sure that we're rotating on the center of the circle. We can select the center of the circle, and now we have here, the um, you can see here in yellow, the circle that would be uh, rotated. And just like the mirror command, it also asks if you want to rotate this, or if you want to copy this rotation. Um, right now it's selected as no, but if we type in C, right now, or now it is going to be copied. And you can hold shift down to uh, toggle ortho mode, or you can specify a certain distance. So maybe let's select 30 degrees, enter, and it'll go into place. Um, and that also goes for lines as well. So if we were to draw a line in place and let's type the rotate command, it's gonna ask to select the objects to rotate, press enter, and let's um, specify this distance as, or the rotation angle as 90. And you can see that it makes a 90 uh, degree copy of the rotation. Like I said, this can be used for squares, circles, lines, um, and even in the future episodes, uh, when it gets into the 3D commands, you can also use these commands to rotate 3D objects.